friends what's up this is rk from 360 reader right now i'm going to talk about six best solutions that can let you fix airdrop not working issues on your iphone or ipad so just in case you are unable to save files using airdrop on your ios or ipad os device and are looking for quick ways to fix the problem then these tips can prove to be pretty helpful that said let's cut the chase before getting started make sure you have subscribed our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 reader the very first thing that i would recommend you to do is to disable personal hotspot yeah you got that right for airdrop to work normally personal hotspot must be disabled to do so simply swipe down from the top right corner of the screen or swipe up from the bottom of the screen to access control center then you have to touch and hold the four icon platter located at the top left corner in the control center finally tap on personal hotspot to turn it off now try to save files using airdrop and if it works then you are good to go believe it or not do not disturb tends to stop airdrop from working normally therefore make sure to disable do not disturb on your device to do so simply swipe down from the top right corner of the screen or swipe up from the bottom of the screen to access control center after that you have to tap on the tiny crescent moon icon to disable dnd on your device the third solution that I would recommend you to try out is to turn off on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. The reason why I tell you to do so is because Wi-Fi and Bluetooth play a vital role in helping AirDrop work normally. To do so, simply access Control Center on your device and then tap on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi icons to turn them off. After that, restart your device and then access Control Center again and then turn on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Now try to use AirDrop off if it works pretty well then you have finally got the better of the issues the fourth solution that I will suggest you to try out is to select everyone for airdrop. It not only improves visibility but also prevents contacts mismatch. To get it done, simply access control center and then you have to touch and hold the four icon platter. After that, tap on airdrop button and then you have to select everyone. If you are still struggling to fix airdrop issues on the iPhone or iPad then it's time to reset network settings. The reason why I suggest you to do it is that it has the knack of fixing network related issues. To get it done, simply launch settings app on your iPhone or iPad then tap on general. Now you have to scroll down to the bottom and then select reset. After that you have to enter your device passcode and tap on reset network settings and finally tap on reset network settings again to confirm. If none of the solutions have worked in fixing airdrop issues on your iOS or iPadOS device then chances are pretty high that the problem is due to an annoying bug and in this case the best way to fix the problem is to go for software update. More often than not Apple releases software updates with plenty of bug fixes and performance enhancements. That's why it's always recommended to update the software timely. To get it done, launch settings app on your device and then tap on general then tap on software update and finally download and install the latest version of ios or ipad os on your device that's pretty much it hopefully you have got the better of airdrop issues on your iphone or ipad now that you have fixed the problem let me know the solution that has worked for you and i'll see you in the next video with more such helpful tips and tricks till then have a wonderful time bye bye